and welcome back. Today we're talking about panels, specifically panty panels. So today we're going to be using the Feel Frisky pattern from L.A.M. Mac Patterns and I'll definitely link that below so you can get yourself a copy because uh, best underwear pattern ever. The first thing you want to do is get your pattern laid out. Take your measurements, pick your size, copy a pattern and get it cut out because that's how we're gonna use, that's what we're gonna use to figure out what we need to do to this panty panel to make it perfect for our pair. So the pattern comes with low, mid, or high rise options. I recommend the low rise just because that's what fits most normal for people. The mid rise is quite high and then I didn't even try the high rise but I imagine it's really high. So if you want some more extra tummy control, then I guess you would want the high rise. But if you want something that's more like what you would buy in a store, definitely go with the low rise option. It is not low, low rise. It's just regular low rise sits you right at your, at your hips. So first you're going to trace out your pattern and get that all cut out. And then we're going to lay out our fabric and our pattern pieces to see what we need to adjust. I'm going to be adding some white fabric to color block a bit so I'm just going to lay things out and kind of decide where I want to do the color blocking. So you can see here on the front I'm going to add a little bit to the sides and I'm going to use the coordinating fabric, the hearts for that and then on the back I'm going to lay it out and I'm going to do a bit of a diagonal cut there and I'm going to color block the sides will be the hearts and then the middle will be the plain white fabric. And Allison's, Allison's patterns are all cotton lycra and they are so, so high quality. They're custom print, so they're definitely higher quality than what you would get from, you know, cheaper stores. I'm not going to mention any, but you all know those cheap stores that you don't get good quality cotton lycra from. So these underwear are going to be super comfy and super durable and they're going to stay up. They're not going to ride down. They're just super fun. So once you decide on what you, how you want to color block, now we need to actually make those color blocking pieces. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay out your, your original pieces onto some tracing paper. So what you want to do when you're color blocking is you're going to make your cuts wherever you want them. Definitely make sure it's symmetrical if you're going for a symmetrical look. And then what, how you do that is you can't just cut and then use that as your as your template because there's going to be an extra seam in there, right? So I like to use quarter inch seam allowance because that's what my serger does easily. So I'm going to use quarter inch here. So when you cut, you add a quarter inch to every where there's a seam. So you can see here I'm cutting on the hip part of the panty. I need to add a quarter inch to the left side and a quarter inch to the right side. I'm going to take a little strip and add it to either side, a quarter inch, make sure it's a quarter inch measuring out and tape it on there. Alternatively, you could trace a whole new piece if you didn't want to do the taping part and just have that. Definitely make sure you label these right because you're going to end up with a lot of pieces. Now, if you need to make something, put something together, like if you were going to you know, connect at the hips or something. What you want to do is overlap them, but because there was already seam allowance built in there, now you're taking that seam allowance away. So you're going to overlap a quarter inch from each side. And that's, that's all there is to color blocking. It's actually really simple. And once you start, it's kind of addicting. You won't want to stop. So I just want to take the time to thank Allison over from, it's an adult panel party and I'm not sure you want to be invited for supplying the panel for this video as well as the coordinating fabric. I'll leave her links in the description box. You can head over there and check out what she has in store. She's got all kinds of really high quality panels and then and they're great for things other than undergarments.
thanks so much for watching to the end. Here's the pair of finished panties with the, the It's a Panel Party panty panel. Now, Allison, I mean, she has some really crazy ideas and she has some really crazy designs on her Facebook page, which remember I'm linking below in the description box. Make sure you check it out. Some of them I just find hilarious and they, they're just, they're just awesome. And some of them can be pretty raunchy. So definitely if you're not, if you're not into that, it might not be for you, but I think they're they're pretty funny and there's a lot of really cute designs on there too. They're not all like that. There's like this one is so cute and it just says love is all you need with the hearts and the heart XO. So they are definitely cute. Thanks so much for staying till the end. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me on social media.